Hey guys, so I'm back in the car with another makeup video. Um, <laughs> last time I did this, I don't think I ever uploaded it, but last time I did this, it turned into like a giant fail. <laughs> but today I'm just trying out a bunch of newer makeup that I bought at Walgreens last night. Um, I ran out a bunch of my makeup and there was a bunch of stuff that I wanted to try. So, well not a bunch, okay, like this is probably going to be like a five minute thing. But, there were a few things. I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to makeup. I don't really wear foundation or concealer or anything like that. I have it for like special occasions or if my skin is really, really, really bad. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to hop into this. <clears throat> mirror here and the first thing for well first off I have my whole face and eyelids and all of that primed I think the first thing I'm just gonna hop right into is eyeshadow so I just got this new brush it's got two ends kind of a f more fluffy end and more of a I don't know <laughs> whatever you guys can see it um, this is actually what I'm trying out. I'm not trying out the eyeshadow. I've already used the eyeshadow. It's this one from L'Oreal. It is just a... It's dirty, sorry. It's just a matte brown. So, just gonna stay kind of minimalist with that. My skin is really bad, guys. But, okay. Just gonna just gonna jump right into that there. I'm I'm a serious minimalist when it comes to makeup, so I apologize if you want like more of a advanced type thing, but I just don't have time for that and I'm just too tired <laughs> for that all the time, so So that's good for me. Um, I really love just like matte browns and just a small amount of shimmer maybe sometimes, but nothing too over the top. In fact, most of the time with my eyeshadow or eye makeup in general, I usually just apply like an eyeliner or something. do one color like this on my eyes just to keep it really neutral I will sometimes put like a shimmer on my lid and do like a matte brown or smoke it out or something but that's pretty good for me so I probably will put on some eyeliner the eyeliner is not new either it's kind of a kind of a favorite of mine but um as far as I can tell, this brush is good, so I like that. Plus, it looks really pretty. Like, it's got that, like, rose gold and black. So, it looks like a high-end brush, but it's actually Walgreens brand. Okay, then this stuff is all newer. Um, okay, well, why don't I do the eyeliner before I try out all the new stuff? That way we can just get all that out of the way. Um, this is my favorite eyeliner. This is the Neutrogena nourishing eyeliner you guys can't even see that sorry but it's in a brown um, all I really ever do on a daily basis is just put a line on my upper lid and I usually kind of smoke it out a little bit because it's got a smudging end on the other end here 
I don't think I'm gonna smoke it out today though. stuff <laughs> the one thing that I've been dying to try out here um, is this new L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara it's supposed to be a dupe for I think Too Faced um, I don't buy high-end mascaras and stuff like that because I just go through them too quickly um, so that'll be fun to try out the other things in here are the Color Culver Girl Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lipsticks. <clears throat> um, these are newer from I think like the December time frame. And then this isn't new, in fact I've used it before but it's in a different shade now. So this is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Voluminizer. These are like the only things that I can use to do my brows. So I'm going to do my brows first. And, you know what, instead of doing that, I think I will use my little mirror again here. I keep closing it and it's really hard to open. <clears throat> There's a cop patrol in the neighborhood. I don't know if that makes me feel safer or wonder what's going on. And I did buy some makeup remover wipes in case I don't like the shade of this brow like gel but it's not an applicator just like this and you literally just put it on your brows so gonna I usually like wrinkle my brows like that a little bit that makes it easier for me to kind of get my shape correct if I'm being honest it's kind of dark for me but they didn't have the blonde So I guess I'm going to have to deal with brown brows. I'm not used to that. I don't think that looks very good. But I guess we'll see when we get the other brow on. Let me see here. As you can tell, I virtually have no brows. Yeah, I think next time I apply this, I'm going to go with some lighter strokes. I was able to be kind of harsher with it when I had the blonde shade, but when I've got this dark brown shade, I need to be kind of careful. Yeah, I don't think that looks great, but we'll deal with it, I guess. Those things are like $9, so... And they didn't have my shade and I'm out of brow thing, so brow thing, brow product, whatever. Um, I do have lip balm on and I'm trying out a liquid lipstick, so I'm just going to take that off and let my lips dry for a second. And we'll go on to trying the mascara. So everyone says this is like an awesome dupe here. I do closing my mirror again. Um, everyone says this is an awesome dupe. I think it's for Too Faced. My brows are like crazy right now. Um, so the wand looks like that. It's a nice thick wand. So I guess I'm just gonna get into it then. Um, I like to go down on my lashes first and then 
wiggle it up. I do have the waterproof version of this, so I don't know if that's much different. Wow. See, I'm satisfied here with this one coat now. You can see the difference between this eye and that eye. I'm gonna put on two or three just to see how good it is. So going down on my lashes and then wiggling up. I don't know why I feel the need to explain the motion to you guys. I'm not doing like a beginner makeup tutorial right now, although if there are any beginning beginners out there, you're fully welcome to use this as your everyday makeup routine. Although personally, this is even more than I normally do. I normally just throw on eyeliner and go to work. I do like to have my brows done though. I just feel like it completely frames your face. All right, I'm gonna start the second layer. Again, talking you, through, you guys through this pointlessly, sorry. Although I guess it would be best not to just be quiet. Since I am going to title this, I think, as a chatty get ready with me, I guess that means I should probably talk. Okay. I will say it's kind of clumpy. Um, but I'm satisfied with these two coats. It's not bad clumpy. It's not like it looks like you've only got like three eyelashes. But it does kind of clump them together. I probably should have used an eyelash curler today, but I've kind of ousted that from my daily routine. Yeah. It is pretty clumpy, you guys. Probably not going to be one of my all-time favorites. Good try, though, L'Oreal. Oh, I got it on my eyelid. So, yeah. I'll use it but it is a bit clumpy for my taste. You guys can see there. I will give a more close up look in a minute. Here, I just, why do I keep closing that? My goodness. I will give a more close up look at the end of the video. Right now, I'm just gonna try to get this lipstick on. See, this is where I messed up here last time in the car was the lipstick. I messed up my eyeliner because I was trying to do some dumb winged eyeliner, but then I like way overlined my top lip and ended up looking like a clown. So one thing I will say about this lipstick before I put it on here, I don't know if it's going to last all day. Maybe I'll make this into kind of like a vlog version and um, come back and show you guys how long it lasted. But when I did it on my hand last night, that is like all that's left of it. And I don't know, when I, when I want a lip, liquid lipstick, I want something that's gonna last like forever on my lips. So, don't know if I'm gonna be a fan of it. We'll see if it lasts through food. So. I keep getting eyelashes everywhere. I need to shave my face, you guys. That's embarrassing. Okay. It's just like one of these regular wands. So I'm just gonna start out with defining my Cupid's bow and then filling in. This is in the color Ballerina, by the way. I'm 
Okay, definitely gonna need a second coat. Definitely not opaque at all. I think it does dry down fairly quickly though. So. Because I think it's already dried down. like the second coat is helping with the like opaqueness I do have to keep dipping it in all the time though say it does feel really nice and light on the lips so that's good um so after this i guess i'll just come back at the end of the day and show you guys how much it lasted let me let me give you guys a close-up view here of the lashes so yeah it's clumpy um, I don't know why it looks like I have a lazy eye right now. I apologize. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. My dad actually has a lazy eye. <laughs> so, totally nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, so there's the lashes. It is pretty clumpy. Um, but that's okay. The sun has come out. You guys can also see close up how bad my skin is. Um, anyway, so yeah, I will just, uh, come back later today and tell you guys how long everything lasted and um yeah i guess i'll see you guys later then hey guys just here for an update um on the makeup uh my eyeliner actually is coming off a little bit but i got something in both my eyes today so that was fun uh the mascara looks good for now you guys can see that And the lip product, by the way, I'm standing in the shower at my work because that's the only place I could get good lighting for you guys, but my lips, the lipstick is basically transfer proof. I'm really surprised actually because of how it looked on my um, hand last night. But it is transfer proof. I've been at work for about two hours now and it lasted through cheese and crackers. Um, here, let me show you guys. Completely transfer proof. So I'm really happy about that. Hopefully it'll last um, a little bit longer, but I'll update you guys at the end of the day. Also, I apologize, this lighting like really shows off how bad my skin is right now. I honestly might have to go to a dermatologist or something to try to get this figured out because there's just so much redness and acne, little acne bumps and yeah, not fun, but it is what it is. It's me. Oh well. So, anyway, yes, I will update you guys uh, later. If anything happens, I'll let you guys know after I have like a real meal too about the lipstick. So, I actually want to go and pick up a couple of the different shades because this one is really close to my natural lip color. So, we'll see I guess.
Hey guys, so back with another quick update. Um, the lipstick and all the rest of the makeup has been on for basically eight hours now and the lipstick stayed put pretty well. Um, I'll give it an A+. <laughs> uh, I am really, really picky about liquid lipsticks and it takes a lot for me to say that this might be my new favorite liquid lipstick. But anyway, since I don't really have anything else uh, going on for the day, I figure I'll just end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.